What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Big Cam here, and today I just want to, you know, post a blog. Post blog. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna just do one take, but um, I just want to post a video about a blog that I made back in August. And I just want to cite it over. You know? It is about how I I, I, I outgrew Markiplier, and um, if you don't think it's interesting enough, you know, just I don't know, give this like leave something. I don't know. I'm just gonna recite it. Cause I feel like, you know, I haven't done one of these horrible quality microphone voiceovers in a long time, so I'm just gonna recite it. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with Mark. I think he's a great guy. There's a lot of great good things. It's just that I will grew him. His weird charm no longer has that effect on me. I think it started back when Mark hit five million subscribers. I was a fan of Mark back in 2013. Well, yeah, back in 2013, on like June. I was studying for my retake exam in New York. And my cousin saw that I was stressed out about the study and whatnot. So what he did was, he, he showed me a video of Mark Fly. And it was a point and click horror game. He was given a double, the double finger defense. I don't know, he was just flipping off the game. And what happened was, I was I was laughing. It was, it was the funniest thing out ever. And so I pretty much made a YouTube account, and I subbed to his channel and watched some more videos that Mark made. That's when I started to become a huge fan of Mark. And me, and me being the artist that I am, I even had a phase where I would constantly draw Mark in his other gimmicks, such as Wilfred War Stash and Darkplier. I even made a fan fiction story of him in literature class and got an A plus on it. Then his channel started growing. Mark got older, such more popular. From 100,000 subscribers to 500,000 subscribers. Then finally to like 3 million. Time instantly like flew by then. Mark's channel was growing, so did my taste for comedy and interest. I started watching other YouTube gamers such as like Scene Anders, Vanoss, uh, Black Okage, Chase Money. And I started watching skits by Rooster Teeth, you know, Quarter Digital, and stuff like that. All these channels had something about them that just fascinated me. Mostly because Black Okage would tell the truth. Vanoss would like rarely post videos, would make you beg for more content, you know, it's just, just fresh, you know, it's good, it's good. And that's just one thing I don't like about Markiplier is the fact that. He he's posted vids daily. They don't they don't really feel genuine, you know. They don't feel like ripe, you know. And like you're watching one video by the guy, and like next thing you know, four videos just uploaded. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that I, they don't feel genuine to me. Like he, I feel like he's just posting out just for like cash or something like that. Plus the gimmick that he has is kind of repetitive, you know, like the scream. You know, the screaming type of gamers, you know, the, you know the ones like Jackson Kai and PewDiePie. Seeing around the moment they overreact and you scream, you know, it, it felt kind of repetitive. So I just I grew that, and plus his look, you know, his new look just didn't sit well with me. Just before he dyed his hair, you know, his what whole wave, yeah, look cool, you know, and no homo, he's a handsome guy. But I I, I just miss, you know, I miss the Mohawk Markiplier, you know, the one where he just posts like two to four videos per week or at least per month. Mostly consists of him trying to beat Vanish. I don't know. It's just my opinion, Markiplier. If you like him, if you if you like him, then more power to you. But um, I just pretty much I grew the guy. I appreciate all of you who made me laugh, cry, and be grateful for life. I always remember Markiplier. But um, for now, I'm not really a fan of Markiplier. Barely watch his videos. I haven't watched his videos in over two years, actually. And um. It's not two years, it's just one year. I haven't watched his videos in over one year. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm not a Markiplier fan anymore. I mostly watch Black Okage and Game of Naughty, you know, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much the story of how I grew Markiplier. Follow me on Instagram at artistic.vigilante. And follow me on Twitter at B1G underscore Cam, Big Cam. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, where I'll be talking about why pro wrestling isn't famous among the social media.